In this episode, we will create a simple project in Illustrator by creating an emoji icon like this. You have got this episode, then you are ready to do a simple project in Illustrator. Without any further ado, let's jump into Illustrator. Create a new document, but this time we gonna create a custom document. Click the new file button. In the presets detail, you can give it a name. I will make an artboard with a square size, with size of 600 by 600 pixels. Next, just make sure that this document is in RGB mode. Leave everything else by default and click create. Now we are in the Illustrator document workspace. I've prepared four emoji icon sketches for us to work with. To be able to use the sketch that we have created, we can import it into Illustrator and go to the file menu. And place. And in this panel, you can select one or more sketches that you want. You just need to hover your cursor at the top right corner of the artboard and click. It will place the sketch you have right on top of the artboard. If we use a sketch in Illustrator, we can place it on a different layer from our artwork. So what we do now is open the Layers panel in the Window menu. In the Layers panel, double-click on Layer 1. It will open the Layer Options. Give it a name for easy identification. And put a check mark on, dim images too. I prefer to fill it with 25%. That will lower the opacity of this layer to 25%. Leave everything else by default and click OK. Finally, left click on the empty area next to this eye icon. That will lock the sketch layer, so that all objects on this layer will not be disturbed. Create a new layer with the Create New Layer button, to place our artwork. Now we can start creating a vector version of this sketch. And it's time for us to create a circle for the face of this emoji, using the ellipse tool. Click and hold the rectangle tool to display the ellipse tool. And activate it. After that, start drawing a circle following the face size of this emoji sketch. Press the shift key on the keyboard to get a perfect circle. You can use the selection tool to adjust its size to the sketch. Go to the Control Panel Overview, and remove the fill color from this circle so we can see the sketch. Click this drop-down menu, and select the None color. Then click the drop-down menu for Stroke Weight over here, to increase the stroke thickness. Choose 10 points. And we're done with the basic shape of this emoji. Next, we will create the eyes. I will create the eyes using the Pen Tool. Activate the Pen Tool on the toolbar and make sure the stroke weight is still within 10 points. Left click on the tip of the eye sketch, to create the first anchor point. Then left click again for the corner, and the last anchor point at the end of the eye. Press the escape button on keyboard, or enter to finish this line. Now we just need to make this line to be curved following the sketch. For this task, we use the anchor point tool. Click and hold the pen tool and select the anchor point tool. Select the center of the line and drag it up until the line is curved. Do the same on the other side. Now we are going to round both ends of this line and remove the sharp corners in this section. Reselect this eye line using the selection tool. Go to the control panel overview and click this stroke to open the stroke panel. Select round cap and round join. And done perfectly. Next for the other eye, we just need to duplicate what we have created. Go to the Edit menu. Copy. Back to the Edit menu again. And paste. Right click. Transforms. And reflect. Select the vertical axis and click OK. Reposition it, so that it is level with the other eye. Next, we will create the mouth of this emoji. The first thing that we're going to do to draw the mouth is to create a straight vertical line. Draw the line using the Line Segment tool. First, we start from the far left, then click and drag to the far right, like so. Now, we will make this line path into a curve path using the Anchor Point tool. Activate the Anchor Point tool. Click and drag the middle of this straight line, up. Drag until it forms a curve according to the sketch. I think it's perfect. Next, for the rest of this emoji icon, I'll show you in the next session. 